Hi, good morning. I wanted to make this short video on some texture that I did. A while ago, well, I think actually about two years ago, I did a painting and I used um, some crackle paste. I remember it being quite expensive and I think that is why I never purchased it again. Until I came across some videos on YouTube and also some blogs, which I linked all of them in this blog, so below the video, that did basically the same effect with cheaper materials. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I made a short video so you can see what the effect is and what things I can do better next time. And what I did is I purchased some marble dust. Uh, I purchased it at my art supply stores. It's basically a bucket full of dust. <laughs> it's not much more than that. And I'm going to be mixing it with standard acrylic medium, matte medium, right? Matte, so not gloss. I have some panels, and if you've been following my blogs, you know that I'm doing a little bit of learning and experimenting in the next couple of uh, weeks, months maybe, I'm not sure. So I have some panels, aluminium dye bond, if you're interested in what that is and how I work with it, um, you can go to my previous blog that I also linked below. So that's a lot of info, now we can get started. I started out with the idea of mixing this in ratios that you can replicate, etc, etc, that can put in the text below, but if any of you, you, you know me by now, I am too chaotic for this, so I lost track of my ratios at around, yeah, at this point. Um, I tried mixing this stuff in a bowl, which didn't work, so I transferred it to a palette, and now you can sort of um, need it, yeah, if you will, because it's, uh, right now it's quite, um, loose actually, this mix, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what that, uh, does to the crackle effect, if you will. I have read that the, the stiffer you make your mix, the deeper and bigger your, your cracks are going to be, if you will, so... I'm not sure how any of this is going to work on a panel because it's, you know, I'm not working on canvas or paper, which is quite, it bends and it's, it's more flexible and this is a very rigid panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and then I'm going to make a stiffer mix and apply that as well. Um, I'm also trying to see how deep I'm, uh, or or how thick I make my um, my layer. I'm I'm guessing if you make it too thin, then the cracks are not going to be deep enough. And I you know I think for the visibility it's important that they cast a shadow. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. I suppose you can do this very neatly um, without too many marks in it. But this was actually my, my first time working with this particular <laughs> mix. So I wasn't paying a lot of attention to putting it on neatly. It's one of those things where you can really feel that if you overwork it, then it's going to be quite rough. But okay, it is what it is. And this is more of the stuff that I mixed in the, uh, in the bowl. So that's the same ratio. I'm just going to split that. And... I'm going to add more of the marble to this mix so that that, if you will, um, increases the ratio of dust to acrylic medium. Yes, I got it. So you can really feel that it's it's it doesn't want to mix, but if you keep kneading it, if you will, um, you, you'll find that it actually dissolves into um, into the acrylic medium. So you just gotta work it a little bit. And I feel that uh, it's important also to get the lumps out. I think those can disturb your texture quite a bit. And I don't think I mixed the first batch well enough. So I'm just gonna go and see how much more I can add before it becomes 
unmanageable. So seeing how I lost track, you can obviously tell I'm just doing this, um, just adding stuff as I go along. So I have no idea what the current ratio is. You can see, I, I guess, what it does under my palette knife. So I feel like when you want to push this texture stuff to uh, to its limits, you just got to keep mixing in. And I guess you'll feel when it simply doesn't want to mix anymore. You can, of course, add more acrylic medium if it becomes too stiff to handle. You can add more of the medium. So let's grab the second panel. And it's really quite stiff. I'm actually a little concerned that it won't won't transfer to the panel, but I'm just gonna try and keep it quite thick. I would like to think that my experience with baking and buttercream <laughs> comes in handy here. <laughs> I'm actually thinking that some of those tools that, I don't know if any of you ever made a cake or any birthday cake with buttercream, you have these tools, these scrapers, uh, big silicon scrapers. And I'm guessing that if you want to apply this to a larger surface and get it down neatly, that those tools might actually be very handy. So... That's it, two different ratios, and I'm gonna let this dry. I have no idea how long it needs to dry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prop it up somewhere, see how, um, how it turns out, and I will see you when it's uh, dry. So, it's dry, uh, it's a couple of days later now. I think it was dry after about 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer. This is the first one. So you can see that I actually didn't mix this well because there's a lot of grain in there, um, but it does crackle nicely. I was actually quite, you can actually see it happen as it dries and it's kind of cool. So here is the little bit of grain and I just, I should have mixed it better. And this is the stiffer mix. You can actually see that the crackles are a little bit bigger and they're a little bit deeper. Uh, I like them better. So I'm guessing I need to find ways to apply this more neatly, get a better effect. You know, overall, I'm really happy. It's nice to experiment with. It's super fun to watch. I hope you found this video a little bit useful. Thank you for joining me. And I will talk to you maybe on Facebook or in the comments. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye-bye.